Hello, my name is Sophie Person. I'm assistant curator at Barbican Art Gallery in London and I've just finished working on pop art design. Um, this exhibition covers about 300 works of art looking at the common language between artists and designers during the pop era. We cover works from the late 1950s to the early 1970s through a range of themes looking at influences that um, affected the practices of artists and designers and how they crossed borders, crossed boundaries within their practices. Uh, we're standing next to a cowboy made by Jan Howarth. Jan made this work for the cover of the Sgt Pepper Lonely Hearts Club album by the Beatles. Um, it unfortunately didn't make the album cover in the end, um, but is an iconic example of her work. She is one of the few women pop artists. Um, she was married to Peter Blake in the 1960s and based in London, though she is American. Um, and they designed the cover together for this iconic pop album. Um, Jan is famous for her sewn sculptures. We have another piece of hers upstairs. And her work very much references Americana, um, classic cultural iconography in America, food, cowboys, um, the media, um, and pop culture figures. Um, we are in an area of the exhibition which looks at this in more detail. We have um, a beautiful work by uh, Andy Warhol called Four Marlins, which references nicely next to the cowboy. We have a pair of silver boots by Clive Barker, who's a British artist. Um, and just over the way we have a paper dress with Bob Dylan on the cover. The exhibition um, focuses on a number of influences including process, materiality, iconography. Um, the paper dress is a good example of this. The 60s were very much about making work that was for mass consumption, easy to make, easy to sell, easy to throw away. So there are a few works in the exhibition that are made of paper and cardboard. Um, obviously they're quite rare now, quite hard to find. Uh, the paper dress has Bob Dylan on it and wasn't in production for very long as Mr Dylan objected to his face being shown in this way. But the point was that you would wear the dress, have a fun time and then put it on your wall as a poster. Um, uh, we also have quite a strong graphics section in the show looking at British graphic designers and American and European but we very much worked here towards bringing a few more British artists into the show to um, give the stronger impression of uh, pop as an Anglo-American phenomenon. Um, we felt that was very important. We have work by Hapsash and the Coloured Coat, who were a graphic design duo um, in London in the late 1960s and made iconic work looking at um, um, psychedelic psychedelic evenings, um, they made posters for nightclubs, for bands and for pop stars. Um, we have work by Italian radical designers like Achille Castiglioni and his brother Pier Giacomo Castiglioni, um, including the Sella stool where they took um, a uh, bicycle seat and put it on a pivot so that you could move around as you're sitting on the telephone, which is what it was designed for. The Castiglioni brothers were very much about taking everyday items, everyday objects and recreating them in their design work. Um, and that's a beautiful example of the um, boundary shifting between artists and designers making work that you weren't sure whether it was an artwork or a design piece. Is it functional or is it not? And we have a number of pieces in the show that look at this. It's difficult to say how many artists or how many designers we have as there is quite a lot of shifting of borders between them. It was a fun, creative time, um, very much about celebrity, young people, creativity um, and starting to critique also advertising television which was gaining momentum in the 1960s so a number of the works look at this including early pieces by Richard Hamilton um, and the independent group which start off the show 
in a section that looks more at collage and everyday.